Hello and welcome. <clears throat> Today we are talking about Gates. And if you are not familiar with Gates, Gates is from the mod Wiremod, which can be downloaded from wiremod.com. You can just search on it from Google. Wire is a computer in general. And today we are talking about the gates in the game. Oh shit, I'm experiencing lag. <coughs> yeah. So let's start off with a introduction. Yes. Okay, find gates. This is gates. So what is gates? Gates is um is numbers. Um gates can has have inputs it's like let me just let me just add in a simple input let me, um this one add yeah, it's not probably the simplest gate so let's say this is a gate this gate is called add and what this gate does is it adds several numbers together and puts it out so 10 plus 10 equals 20 so if you if you wire in uh, two numbers of 10 and 20 it will output the <coughs> total of that which is 30 so let's say we have um, let me just put in a number which you can do by oh what's it called um, where was it oh there's a constant value a, a constant value is a value which is constant of course so we'll just add 2 which is let's say 10 and 20 and we'll make something different like this this is our constant this is our add gate let me wire it up so how to wire it up you when you've placed these two gates you find a tool called wire advanced this is the my favorite tool and normally I set the width to zero because it's just really ugly to have like a wire running okay so uh, wiring stuff up you first click on the input and then click on the output so I mean first you click on um, which gate needs an input which is the add gate and then you find what the input has to be and in this situation the first input has to be 10 for my constant as you see now as we hover over it, it says value plus b equals 10. It says value, which is this one plus b equals 10. Since b is 0, since it's not wired up to anything, it's equals 10. And b is 0. So let's wire up b to 20. As you see right now, it is 30. Um, that is because our first value is 10 and second is 20, which equals 30. Now let's just um how go over some other um good and classic gates like the most the ones you are going to use the most in the start is probably the um arithmetic gates which is like add and multiply divide increase decrease random round subtract uh percent and so on. These are the most used. Later on, you can go to logic gate, which is if if a number is equal, then my gate is equal. Um, but yeah, you can you can mess around with these, and you can create some epic stuff. But let's go on with multiple multiply. <clears throat> so multiply multiplies different numbers. So let's say we have um, this one. Um, this a first input wired up to our second number which is 20 and then we place a button a button um, with the on value to 1 and the off value to 0 that means when this button is pressed it will multiply 1 with 20 and 0 with 20 when it's off let's make it toggle there we go now this is just the output number. This means that when we wire this up, the B up to a button, it will um, say value times button. And since the button is equal zero right now because it's inactive, 
um, the multiply equals zero. But when we press it and it turns one, it will be 20. And you can use this in many different situations, such as, let's say, hydraulics. If you're making a door, this is very, very useful. I mean, if you're making a door, uh, example, an automatic door, this is just oof, great stuff. Let me just get out the hydraulics. Um, there we go. Is it fixed? No, it's not. Oh, GG. Oh. Damn it. Let me just redo this. Um let's see here. Like that. And like that. Now we have two hydraulics. And hover your mouse over the hydraulics and click on length. And then click on your multiply. Whoops. Like that. So, right now, the hydraulics is the length of multiplies, the multiply gates output, which is 20 as, um, because the button is on, so it's 1 times 20. If we, uh, if we inactivate this, it will pull back, because then the multiply will be equal 0. So, as you see, you can make a door right here. Let me just show you how. If I were to just freeze this and just put this now oh, this is gonna be the most sexy door ever like this okay so um because gates or because hydraulics is um moving in units which is something from the source engine uh, i know that this plate is about 50 um, 45 I mean so I'll put the f um, second to four <coughs> 48 which is a 3 over because sometimes the hydraulic fucks up so I'll just set that to it so when I press this button it will move 48 and right now I can go through so there I just made a door it's brilliant now let me take you <coughs> no I'll end it here, and if you want to see more to the gates, I will do another episode. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, um, like, comment if there, if you have anything in mind you want to know. You can just ask me. I am an open person. You can easily ask me. I will gladly respond. Thank you. See ya.